Hey everybody, happy Sunday. It's Raven Maureen and this is the third episode of Some Vacation Sewing and I leave pretty soon here so the last thing I'm going to make, I say last thing but we'll see how it goes. The last thing I'm going to make is the Saguaro set by Friday Pattern Company. I have already cut out the pants so I'm going to get started on the pants first. And I decided to use this uh, fabric that I got a few months back from Hobby Lobby um, and I did share it in a fabric haul so um, I, I'm gonna use this fabric for the top and the bottom I'm not even gonna hold you guys because I want to start sewing and I've been eyeballing this pattern for over a year so let's do it First, I decided to connect the pockets. These are the type of pockets that have a facing to create a bag. I have to admit that while I don't enjoy sewing these types of pockets, they make the pants look much nicer and much more elevated than the average side pocket. And while we're here, let's just talk a little bit about my fabric. I am not even gonna lie to you, it is very pretty, but it's also pretty thin and fussy. It's probably a lightweight gauze if I had to guess. So I had to be extra careful when I was cutting it and now while sewing it. And this entire time I was just worried that it would stretch and grow because that's kind of like the vibe it was giving me. But so far, I think we're okay. And this is my first time making this Aguaro set. It came out last summer and I have been waiting for the perfect trip to make it. It's by Friday Pattern Company and it's a wide leg pants set with a dolman sleeve v-neck top and I'm going to make the top in a separate video. Now even though it's my first time sewing this pattern, the steps are very simple and I'm following them off camera from my laptop. What I love about this set is that it's perfect for resort wear and that's honestly the entire idea behind this look. We are supposed to have a day pass at a resort so I'm excited to wear this on the beach or poolside while I have a few drinks and eat some great food. And I definitely plan to have my bathing suit on underneath all of this so I think it's a really great cover up as well. And then the second thing that I love about this set is that it has a modest level of like sex appeal. It's not over the top and too showy, but it does show off just enough skin, in my opinion, to feel feminine and pretty all at once. All right, so can we talk about some other things that I'm bringing along for this trip? So you know that I'm bringing the black Marley suit that I just made, the leopard pajamas, and of course the Saguaro set, but I am also going to bring along the Georgia top and Vernazza swim bottoms that I made last year for a possible extra resort day. And then I am also bringing a new version of McCall's 8339. And this is a pink version and it is mini. And so when I showed my husband, he was like, so where are you going? And I was like, Miami, remember? So now that I've finished my pockets, I am going to attach my two front pieces along the curved edge. And I decided to use my Wonder Clips because the fabric is just so thin. And then I did the same thing for the back pieces of the pants as well. This pattern calls for a 3 8 seam allowance, so I have to be extra careful and take my time to make sure that all of these curves match up absolutely perfectly, so that way when I take them to my sewing machine, I have no mistakes. I sewed the curved edges off camera and then I pressed the seam to one side and finished them with my serger and now I am sewing up the side seam of my pants right sides together and again making sure that I am still keeping in my 3 eighths of an inch seam allowance. For both sides, I started at the top of my pants, making sure I passed through my pocket patches and all the way down the side of the leg, 
just to make sure that everything matches up absolutely perfectly. There are a couple of side notches on that seam there and also the bottom hem that I will also like to make sure matches up perfectly as well. Next, I sewed my pants together at the inseam. Just a note here, I did not alter the seat or the rise of this pattern whatsoever, especially since I still wanted it to be an extremely relaxed fit and I really wanted it to just kind of be a resort style. I didn't want it to have any sort of bunching or anything, so I made sure that I did not alter any of those pattern pieces. And I know that um, vacation videos are really, really popular, but because this is not necessarily like a family vacation and, you know, for the privacy of other people, I don't know how much I'm actually going to show of the activities that we get into, but I will definitely share here on this channel um, all of the outfits because I definitely plan on there goes Nala. I definitely plan on taking pictures and whatnot. And so definitely be on the lookout for that video where I recap everything that I wore on the trip. And oh, I can't wait for that one. We are 75% done with this project. Now I am working on the waistband. I interface the back side of the waistband where the two buttonholes are supposed to go. Then per the instructions, I made two buttonholes using a half inch button on my gauge. And then next, I sewed the short ends of the waistbands right sides together. I pressed it in half and then I pinned my waistband to the top of the pants, making sure that the side with the buttonholes was facing the right side of the front of the pants. And I know I just said a mouthful, but it all makes sense when you're making these pants, I promise. Attaching the waistband was probably the most stressful part of the con construction. Again, with the narrow seam allowance, I had a few areas that just did not catch. So I had to go over those parts and do some unpicking. But also, I took my time with this step, even though it looks like I'm sewing pretty fast. Um, but I just wanted my waistband to be even and perfect. I stopped about two inches short on the back side of my waistband that way I would be able to insert my elastic piece through that tunnel part and I used a two inch thick wide elastic for this part and I did attach that offline and I had to do some fitting with that I had to make sure that the waistband was going to be comfortable for me so after attaching it and making sure that the fit was great there is a weird step with having to stretch that elastic like you see that I'm doing here and going over the elastic and I know that sounds kind of counterintuitive but it is a way to kind of give you that sportswear type of look and gathering at the top and at the bottom of the waistband and so what I did here was I widened my stitch length to about a 3.5 or 6 and I went over this very carefully working from 3 8 from the top and then I had to do the bottom row 3 8 from that stitch which was honestly a little bit harder and so I did go to my ironing board and I ironed this down really good to make sure that the 
seam allowance from the waistband was completely out of the way but this step probably next to attaching the waistband was a little bit stressful and it took a little bit longer but the reward on the other side is the perfect waistband i promise you After sewing down the elastic in the waistband, I took my drawstring that I made off camera and a safety pin and I funneled it, funneled it through the buttonholes that I made earlier and this really tied the look together really nicely. And so then I did one last fit check for height and length and I noticed that my pants dragged just a little bit so I took two inches off the bottom and then I finished the hem with just a serger and decided to do a very narrow hem here because again my fabric is just so thin and I didn't want the bottom to be weighted down with an extra fold or even bias tape. All right, that's it for my pants. I can't wait to get started on the top. If you like this video, go ahead and hit that like button, subscribe and comment below. And if you're already not following me on other social media uh, websites, you can follow me at Raven Maureen on Instagram, TikTok, Facebook, and right here on YouTube. I'll see y'all next time. Bye.